Good evening, families, friends, Hokies. My name is Alexa Parsley, and I have had the honor of serving as student body president for the last year. We have gathered together this evening to commemorate and to remember the 32 lives that were lost 10 short years ago. Last night at midnight, a single 24-hour ceremonial candle was lit by a flame carried from inside of Burris Hall. The light that continues to shine from Burris symbolizes the promise that the Virginia Tech community will always remember the lives of those lost on April 16, 2007. Later in our ceremony, 32 remembrance candles will be lit from the single flame of the ceremonial candle. Once the remembrance candles are lit, we will take the light from the ceremonial candle and distribute it to you, the Hokie community, in memory of those who lost their lives on April 16, 2007. We ask that you please wait to light your candle until you receive it from the light of the ceremonial candle. It was 10 years ago that our campus was tested, but the community came together more than ever before. On that day, everyone in the nation and around the world was a Hokie, standing alongside us as we remembered those who were no longer with us, as we struggled to understand why, and as we worked together to move forward. We are a family that is bound by a sense of community and of love that is hard to put into words. We are known for giving instead of receiving, which follows our motto, Oop Prosum. We are known for supporting one another. We are known for standing in solidarity with other campuses who also experience challenges. We are known for showing compassion to cities who are suffering and need to be uplifted. And we are known for so much more. It is because of all of this that we continue to persevere, that we are able to shed light on one another in times of darkness, and that we all aspire to continue growing, learning, and reflecting with our Hokie family. The tragedy of April 16, 2007 may in ways define us, but it will never defeat us. We have and will continue to persevere in times of challenge. We will continue to push one another to exceed expectations, and we will always remember our 32 Hokies who are no longer with us. Please take this time to reflect, to remember, and to always know that we are Virginia Tech. We are strong. We are together. Thank you. Students, alumni, faculty, staff, community members, and the entire Hokie family. My name is Samit Bagai, and 10 years ago, I had the privilege of serving the Hokie community as a student leader. One of the unique things about Blacksburg is that it doesn't change much from year to year, which makes it such a special place for the alumni community to come home to. That may explain why it's so hard for us to believe that a decade has passed since that cold Monday morning on April 16th, 2007. That morning, the ringing of my phone woke me as my dad was calling to check on me and shared what was happening on campus. There are certain moments in your life that you'll always remember where you were. That was that moment for me that signaled the start of a blur of emotions, events, and witnessing the worst, but ultimately the best in humanity, all in the span of a few days. To the families who lost someone that day, words cannot possibly express how we truly feel, but please know that our hearts go out to you just as strongly today as they did 10 years ago. Even when our words fail us, please know that we are here for you. Perhaps even more importantly, know that your loved ones continue to be a bright beacon of inspiration for all of us. They represented the best in our Hokie Nation with their service to this community, their diversity of ethnicities, religions, and backgrounds, and their incredible accomplishments. We live for 32 because their impact was immensely profound and will continue to inspire us as long as these stones sit here in front of us and well beyond. As a student leader during the response and recovery period, 
I witnessed firsthand the power and ability of the students at Virginia Tech to stand up, make a difference, and show everyone what we're all about. The student body's ability to take the darkest hour on this campus and channel it into a moving and unified response is an experience that changed us all forever. There were many acts of courage and kindness by students across campus in the days, weeks, and months that followed. The memorial we stand at today was originally placed here by the student-led efforts of Hokies United with stones from a nearby construction site. The memorial was quickly embraced by all and became the community's memorial with the addition of names to the Hokie Stones, mementos for those we had lost, and points of re reflection for all. Whether it was the countless students that prepared candles for that first vigil, or the tens of thousands that chose to be here and attend, whether it was the student organizations that worked around the clock to serve their campus, or the community members that positioned themselves around Blacksburg offering free hugs, or whether it was the faculty and staff that opened their offices, homes, and hearts to those in need, or the many alums that drove for hours to be here with their Hokie family, everyone did their part. The countless acts of untold heroism from that time speaks to the selfless commitment and resilience of not only this amazing student body, but the entire Hokie community. To the current student body, every single one of you made a choice to join this great university with the knowledge of what happened 10 years ago. You've embraced that event as your own and made it a part of the narrative of your time in Blacksburg and the rest of your lives. Seeing the way you've supported many events, like yesterday's 3.2 Remembrance Run, demonstrates your commitment to the ideals of this community. On behalf of the Virginia Tech alumni, and especially those of us who were here in 2007, and may have worried that future generations of Hokies might not understand this experience, I want to thank you. You embody Utprosim and carry on the proud name of Virginia Tech. A lot can change in 10 years, and the journey for many still continues today. One thing that has not changed is the recognition that this place is home and Utprosim resides strongly in our core. We know that this event did not define us. Hokies have always stepped up to serve before, during, and after April 16th. And that is what makes this place so special and home for tens of thousands of people across the nation and the world. We will never be defined by one act, but instead by our collective strength and commitment to brotherhood, honor, leadership, sacrifice, service, loyalty, duty, and ut prosim. The Hokie spirit is an intangible that ties us all together, Hokies past, present, and future, as well as our amazing faculty, staff, and local, national, and international community. We are Virginia Tech, and this is indeed home. Thank you. We remember Maxine Shelley Turner. Minal Hiralal Punchal Christopher James Bishop. Ryan Christopher 
Clark. Jarrett Lee Lane. Emily Jane Hilsher. Kevin P. Granada. G.V. Logan Nathan. Juan Ramon Ortiz Ortiz. Mary Karen Reed. Leslie Geraldine Sherman. Jeremy Michael Herbstritz. Yoslin Couture Novak. Bertahi Memora Holomoran Lombanturowan. Matthew Joseph Laporte. Daniel Alejandro Perez Sueva. Walid Mohammed Sha'alan. Jordan 
Julia Kathleen Pride. Rachel Elizabeth Hill. Aaron Nicole Peterson. Caitlin Millar Hammerin. Austin Michelle Cloyd. Rima Joseph Samaha. Lifu Labrescu Ross A. Alamadine. Henry J. Lee, Hen Lee. Matthew Gregory Gwaltney. Michael Stephen Poli Jr. Daniel Patrick O'Neill. Lauren Ashley McCain. Nicole Regina White. Brian R. Bloom.
please join us for a moment of reflection.
My name is Bo Hart, class of 2011. The Hokie community and Hokie spirit are special, and seeing all of you here tonight is powerful. We are gathered at the April 16th Memorial to remember our 32 fallen Hokies. As we stand here together with our candles lit, I challenge each of you, whether you live here in Blacksburg, a different city, state, or even country, to commit to living by our motto, Ut Prozum, that I may serve, and to share the Hokie spirit with your community and neighbors. It is through this commitment that we, as a Hokie nation, can guarantee that the memories of our fellow Hokies will live on and that we will never forget. Thank you for attending the candlelight vigil. The program will conclude with the playing of the echo taps. The April 16th memorial will be open, but we ask that if you stay, please remain silent for 32 minutes. Live for 32. Thank you.